Bloxburg and saw in chat that a family was looking for a babysitter. They seemed pretty desperate and said they'd be willing to pay a lot of money for the job, so I wanted to check it out. Honestly, you guys, I'm really not doing much today, and I was planning on going shopping this weekend, so taking up a babysitting job to get some extra money isn't a bad idea at all. So I am going to go ahead and message Anthony Diaz, and I'm going to say, uh, hi, I would be interested. Oh, he just replied. He said, that's wonderful. Thank you. We're on pizza side. Oh, okay. Um, He said, please hurry over. We're in a bit of a rush. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna say on my way, you guys, they are clearly more desperate for a babysitter than I thought. I wonder how much they're gonna pay for all of this. But, uh, you know, some money's better than no money. So I'm gonna head over there right now. Holy cow, you guys, is this the family I am babysitting for? If so, uh, these guys are loaded, but this is the address that they gave me. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock on the door. Oh, oh, there they are. Anthony and Jenna Diaz. Oh, uh, Anthony said, great, you're here. Come in quickly. Oh, guys, they, what are they in such a rush for? I'm just gonna say, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Carrie. Nice to meet you. Anthony said, we're so glad you were able to come on such short notice. Oh, I'm just, gonna, uh, of course. I mean, they seem pretty nice, even though they are super, super rich. Anthony said, we need you to babysit for the next 24 hours since we have to go out of town for work, guys. I, I wasn't really planning on staying here for 24 hours. That's uh, kind of a, a long time. Anthony said, we can pay $10,000. Dollars for in a day? Oh, sure, I'm, I'm in. I'll take ten thousand dollars. Jenna just said great, and Anthony said great. Our son is upstairs. Uh oh. Okay. Um. He said just make sure he stays alive, and we'll consider it a win. Wait. Uh oh. And then Jenna just said see you soon. Wait. Uh no interview or or anything. Uh. Shouldn't y'all uh, ask some questions to make sure I'm a, I'm a good fit? Jenna said, I'm sure it's fine. Wait, what? And Anthony said, yeah, it's fine. And Jenna said, you look pretty nice. Uh, Anthony said, let's get going. And Jenna said, okay, bye, see you later. Uh, okay, you guys, Um, I feel like they definitely should pay more attention to like who they're hiring to take care of their kid. But I guess since I already accepted the job, and they already left. I don't really have a choice. I may, I guess I'll just go meet the kid now. Okay, you guys, the kid's room should be upstairs. And yep, I see a username over here, I think. Not gonna lie, I'm a little worried because they have a super rich family and clearly his parents don't spend much time with him. So uh, this kid might be a little bit of a brat. But you know what? I've dealt with bratty kids before. I think I can handle this. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock on the door. I'm just gonna say, um, hi. A uh, little Mateo, he just said, oh, hi, miss. I'm just gonna say, um, hi, Mateo, I'm Carrie. He just said, are you my new babysitter? Oh, I'm just gonna say, uh, yes, I am. Clearly they must have a lot of babysitters. He just said, okay, it's nice to meet you. Wow, he's being really nice. And his room looks pretty clean too. He said, I promise to be very well behaved, miss. Oh, uh, okay, thank you, I guess. Uh, he is literally not what I expected at all. He is super well behaved. He just said, okay, if you need anything in the house, I can help you find it. Aw, thank you so much. He said, I'll be playing with robots in my room. Oh, got it. Uh, I'll uh, let you know when dinner is ready. This babysitting job is clearly gonna be a breeze. Honestly, the easiest 10K I have ever made in my life. All right, you guys, it's about 6 p.m. now and I've literally just been chilling on the couch watching TV all day. I mean, video has a literally has not made a peep. But since it's getting later, I should probably go get him for dinner time. At the very least, I should make sure he eats. So, okay, let's see. Uh, Mateo, I'm just gonna knock. Mateo, hello. Dinner time. Mateo, Mateo. Oh gosh, you guys, did he fall asleep or something playing with his toys? Okay, if so, I'm gonna creep in here and try to wake him up. Oh, okay, he's not sleeping. Uh, Mateo? Hello? Mateo, where where are you? Guys, I'm I'm gonna check his closet and stuff, but I literally don't see him. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Mateo? Holy cow, did I lose him? Mateo! Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, guys, I am gonna this is a very big house. It would be very easy to lose a child in here. Mateo! Oh gosh, oh gosh, where the heck did he go? Okay, he's definitely not in the kitchen. Or in the dining room. Mateo, where are you? The one thing they told me was to make sure he just stays alive. Oh, Mateo! He just said, this babysitter, where, 
Where were you? He just said, are you okay? He said, I was in my room. What, huh? What do you mean you were in your room? Uh, he said, is everything okay? Uh, uh yes, yes. Uh, everything, uh... It's fine. Uh, time for... Time for dinner. <laughs> okay, okay. Nobody has to know that I almost lost him. It's fine. Okay, you guys. Dinner is made, and I am glad that things have finally calmed down a little bit. He seems pretty chill, so hopefully he likes chili. He's gonna say, dinner is served. Oh, he just said, yummy. Okay, he's starting to eat at least. He just said, so, miss, do you know when my parents will be home? I'm just gonna say, oh, uh, they'll be back tomorrow. Little Mateo just said, oh, okay. Oh, man, you guys, he seems pretty upset by that. Oh, Wait, why is he standing up? He just said, can I eat the rest in my room? I'm just gonna say, um, I think it's best if you eat here. Guys, I'm sure he's probably used to finishing his dinner in his room, but I have been left in charge and I think it would be better for him to stay down here. He just said, why? Oh, oh and he just got really angry. I'm gonna eat in my room and you can't stop me. <laughs> Mateo, get back here right now. Oh, literally, his parents put me in charge. He cannot talk to me that way. He just said, leave me alone, lady. I'm just gonna say, come back. You cannot talk to me that way, all right? Mateo, get back here. He said, I said, leave me alone. He just said, my parents don't even care about me, so I don't need to listen to the babysitters they hire. Uh, he said, you know what? I'm not hungry anymore. I excuse me, you need to finish your dinner. Uh, Mateo! All right, you guys, it's been a couple of hours. It's about nine o'clock now, and I'm hoping that Mateo has had some time to cool off, and maybe we can talk. I mean, I feel really bad for him because I'm sure it's frustrating to have parents that don't ever want to spend any time with you. Oh, oh, his door is open. That's a good sign. But, but what, is, what are all those mechanical sounds coming from his room? Oh, hold on, you guys. I really walk in. Uh, wait, guys, I'm so confused right now. What the heck? Oh, oh, the sound stopped. Okay, that's... Good, I think. But still, where is Mateo? What? Ah, what the? Oh my gosh, his bed just moved and why is he in a lab coat? And why is he like science gear? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like there was like a staircase to some type of basement thing. Oh, he just changed out of his science clothes. <gasps> okay, what the heck is down there? And why was he wearing all of that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I am 99% sure that kids aren't supposed to have a super secret basement layer under their beds. All right, you guys, I'm in the guest room right now where I'll be sleeping tonight, and I never ended up talking to Mateo. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should actually ask him about what I saw, or if I should just try to be a good babysitter and, I don't know, then go home, I guess. Oh, wait, he just knocked on my door. Oh, there's Mateo, oh my gosh. He just said, hello, miss. I'm just gonna say, uh, hi, what's, what's up? He just said, hi. Um, guys, he seems kind of nervous. I'm gonna say, is, is everything okay? He said, I'm just here to apologize for how I talked to you earlier. Aw, oh man, that's really nice. I'm just gonna say, it's okay. I, I get it. He said, I didn't mean to. I sorry, oh my God, he's so sweet. Okay, he definitely has like a temper, but still very nice. He said, I'm just so upset that my mom and dad are never home. Oh my gosh. He said, but after I thought about it some more in my room, I realized that things will get better soon. Really soon. Uh, wait, thinking in his room. Guys, from what I saw in his room, he was in a secret basement doing some weird science experiment. He said, everything is okay now. Uh, okay, um, guys, is it just me or was he giving off some weird vibes there? I'm just gonna say, uh, okay. He said, I'm really thankful for you not being mad at me, miss. Right. He said, I'm gonna go sleep now. Good night. Good night. Uh, okay. Obviously, I understand why he's upset with his parents, but that was strange, right? I've got to know what's going on under his bed. All right, you guys, I tried to sleep. It's like two o'clock in the morning, but I cannot stop thinking about what's going on under Mateo's bed, okay? I know he's probably sleeping right now, but I'm just gonna have to wake him up and ask what the heck is going on. But he seemed like a pretty reasonable kid, so maybe I can just ask him about what I... Mateo? Guys, literally, it's two in the morning and all of his lights are still on? Oh no, guys, 
He might be down in that little secret tunnel under his bed, which means I've got to try to go down there too, okay? I cannot just let this slide. I know there's got to be a GUI for a secret door somewhere. How the heck did he do this? Guys, I literally can't find the GUI to make this move, but I know it does. I saw it move. How did he even do this? Uh, wait, wait, guys. I see the floor glitching a little bit right here. Let me see. <gasps> yes! Ha! Ah! I found it. I found it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. I'm going down. Here goes nothing. Guys, I was right. I was right. Oh my gosh. I have to hide behind here, but I was right. All of these, this little stairs thing led to a basement level. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to crouch down a little bit. It looks like we're in some type of laboratory though. And there's a, there's like these little turntable things. Wait, wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, there's like robot people in here that look oddly similar to Mateo's parents. They're in like the same outfits and everything. What? Guys, why does he have all of this just under his bed? Mateo just said, Ote, it's time to see if these robots work. Wait, are these the robots he was talking about playing with earlier? Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna try and get a closer look. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if there's anywhere. Oh, I can't. I can't. If I run back here. All right. The heck? He said, if it does, I'll finally have these robot parents and I won't ever need my useless real parents anymore. Oh my gosh, you guys, he built these robots to replace his parents? These robots will never leave me. I just have to press this. Oh my gosh, there's a big giant red button. That's never good. What is all that noise? What, what's happening right now? Oh, this could be bad. This could be really bad. Oh my gosh, they're moving. They're moving towards him. Robot dad just said, systems online. Hello, son. The robots are talking, guys. This is, uh, this is some AI stuff. I'm not, I don't like this. I don't like this. Robot mom said, it's so nice to have a son like you, Mateo. And Mateo just said, yes! Guys, this is literally the plot of a bad sci-fi movie. They're probably gonna try to take over the world or something. Mateo just said, they work. He said, robot mom and dad, your job is very simple. He said, my real mom and dad will be home in a few hours. Your job is to eliminate them. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. He said, Wait, Robot Mom just said mission acquired, okay? And Robot Dad said new directive accepted eliminate parents? Mateo said, and then you two will become my real parents? Yay, 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 no! Guys, I seriously cannot let Mateo go through with this. He's right, his parents do come home in a few hours. I can't watch his parents get eliminated, whatever that means. Okay, I have to do something. Uh, this, this might, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going out there, stop, stop, stop. Mateo just said, what? What the heck? You shouldn't be down here, miss. Uh, Mateo, you should stop this. It isn't okay. He just said, ugh, what the heck? Why should I stop? He said, you saw how my parents were. They don't care about me. Well, uh, he said, they shouldn't be my mom and dad. Okay, I'm just gonna say, well, them neglecting you isn't okay. All right, guys, I don't wanna make it feel like it is, Um, but this isn't okay either. You can't eliminate them with robots. That's, that's just not how this works. He said, you don't know what I went through with them. I've talked to them about it too, and they don't care. They don't change. Oh man, guys, he is way more upset than I thought he was. Oh geez, I didn't know he had tried to talk to them before. He said, if you're gonna get in my way, I have to get rid of you too. Wait, what? He said, I sorry. Oh no, robot dad just said threat detected. And robot mom said, new mission, eliminate enemy. No, no, no. I really want to run away so, so bad because these robot people freak me out. I'm just gonna say, wait, 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 um, uh, what if they, what if they did change? Uh, would you still want weird robot parents? I just said, what? I'm just gonna say, what if your parents, uh, started, started caring about you? Would you want to replace them? Guys, these robots are literally just staring me down right now. I am so nervous. Mateo just said, um, no, but I don't think my real mom and dad will ever change. So wait, um, uh, uh, wait, wait, don't, don't tell them to keep going. I'm gonna say, what if I, what if I talk to them? He just said, you talk to them. What is that gonna do? I'm just gonna say, well, I'm, I'm an adult. So maybe they'll, uh, Listen to me, okay? You no, know, maybe I can get their attention a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna say I I can help get through to them and 
then if that doesn't work, you can use the robots, okay? Guys, I don't know if this totally fixes the problem, but it might help buy me some time, maybe? Or at least buy his parents some time. He just said, well, hmm. Okay, fine. Ah, yes! Okay, okay, put the, put the, put the robots back. Please, please, please get them to stop targeting me with their weird laser eyeballs. Oh, he just hit the button. Come on, move back. Oh, there they go. There they go. Oh, okay. Okay, and Robot Dad just said, powering down. Okay, thank God. The robots are, are leaving me alone, and Robot Mom just said, power off. Okay, Mateo just said, I hope your plan works, miss. I'm just gonna say, me too. Uh, but for now, go get some sleep, and we will try in the morning, okay? He just said, okay. Guys, I wanna make sure he leaves. I'm just gonna say, go on now. All right, you guys, that definitely bought us some time, and I need to get out of here with these weird robots. And then as soon as I try to help these fa this family fix their problems, I am going to get as far away from them as possible, okay? Oh, they all need some serious therapy.